Hi, I'm Shailen Rose and we're back with another Do You Really Need to Make That Shailen episode. So I am going to a masquerade ball on Saturday and I'm very excited. There is also a competition for best dressed and I'll be damned if I do not win that competition. So the competitive side in me has awoken and we are ready to wreck our week by making something absolutely unnecessary. I saw this dress that Jork wore at the 2001 and I was pretty much set on making this dress or something like it ever since I saw it because who doesn't want a dress that looks like a dead swan? Cool. I have decided to go more towards the inspired by than the recreation version of this look. Funny enough, made with the dress that I wore to the very last masquerade ball that I went to. That is this one from two, nearly three years ago now. No? Last year, the year before, two years ago. So essentially we're, we're repurposing, we're, we're saving the world by um, wasting our time. I have been collecting things I will need to make this dress. Two packets of white feathers. This shirt that I have been cutting up. The rest of it. Some flowery lace. Some more lace. Some different kind of lace. All other kind of lace. And then the felts needed to make this swan face beak. Did I mention that I won concert and two don't know how I'm going to be doing this? So enjoy the, the process. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna attempt to sew the lace onto all the bits. Um, this machine is threaded, so in theory, it shouldn't be too difficult, but um, probably will be anyway. <laughs> she was right, it was in fact too difficult. Why are you doing <laughs> Why? The dress kind of looks like a hot mess. Um, I'm kind of hoping it'll look better on, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one, uh, I made it smaller. I created this lovely flattering bulge over here. It's not even. I really want a fuller look. I want to add like other ruffles. Uh, I say this as if I have any skills to do these things, but anyway. I'm going to cut some more fabric off of this dress. Yay! Okay, um, I have given in and I'm going to resort to hot gluing the rest of the dress together. <laughs> I 
I am really tired after today but the dress still has a lot of work so I'm at least gonna try and make the swan head I haven't even figured out how I'm gonna do that um, my bits of a swan. Two orange pieces out of felt. I'm going to glue those together, add the little black onto our white body, which I don't know how I'm making this round yet, but I guess we'll figure it out. Can I just say that I am absolutely in love with this? I am so excited. I just like, I want to name him and keep him. And I don't know, I'm thinking Jeffrey. <laughs> Let me know what you think he should be named in the comments. Good morning, happy Friday. Um, so the ball is tomorrow, but my rest, day of rest, <laughs> starts at five today. So I really want to finish the stress and I have an assignment to get in. So we'll leave the assignment for later and let's do the dress now. <laughs> Proceeds to stare at dress for a hot minute. Realizes she needs to redo it. Okay. This is where we are. It's starting to look a lot better. I do feel a bit like a blob here, so I think I'm gonna need to add something just to define it slightly more. And obviously got some fixing here to do, but this is what it looks like with the swan. I'm, I just, I love him so much, he's so cute. Excuse the uh, constantly changing sunlight. Daytime, night time. Daytime! Night time? Daytime! <laughs> okay, so I am so excited because I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Definitely took a turn there um, and if there's anything I've learned it's to stop trying to sew and just use a glue gun. <laughs> but now I'm going to start adding details and finally feathers! Yay! Okay. 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 out kind of like an angle like this and build it up and I'm just really scared to cut the dress that I've spent like four days making
Oh, and I finished my mask. I finished my mask. I just want to do some more detailing, but look how cute. I want the dress. No. <laughs> Probably one of the most uncomfortable dresses I've ever worn, but um, for style, I give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Me and my ruffled feathers are home and we won most creative dress, so kind of best dressed. It was made up prize, but we won something, so good job, Jeffrey, good job. And tomorrow I have to clean up the aftermath of my project. I think, I think it's time for declutter.